Hello everyone. I am Professor Manish Mamtani from the Department of uh, Geology and Geophysics, uh, IIT Kharagpur in India. And uh, in the year 2016, along with uh, my former student, Tridib Kumar Mondal, uh, who did PhD with me uh, in 2014, and uh, with my another student, uh, PhD student of that time, Shivaji Lahiri, uh, I had organized a tech task workshop uh, in my institute. And the title of uh, the workshop was Mohar Circle Simplified. And uh, the present recording is... Uh, a voiceover recording of the workshop that was presented in the year 2016. So the workshop was split into two presentations. The first presentation was made by me and this was entitled Mohar Circle, the philosophy, where I introduced the topic to uh, more than uh, 150 participants of the workshop. And uh, the second uh, presentation was uh, done by Tridib and Sivaji, which was the more technical part of the Mohar circle. So the first presentation is by me, which is a small one, that is entitled Mohar Circle, the philosophy. You see, uh, most geologists have a fear of mathematics. And this is very nicely depicted in this particular uh, Kelvin and Hobbes uh, cartoon, uh, where, uh, the, uh, where Kelvin is showing his uh, interest to pursue geology uh, because of his uh, fear of mathematics. And this is very common amongst uh, not only geologists, but also uh, many human beings. Which brings us to some interesting quotes that have been uh, uh, given by several people. And one of them is the late former president of India, uh, Abdul J. Kalam who said, don't fear for facing failure in the first attempt, because even the successful maths starts with zero. Or what Einstein said, do not worry about your difficulties in mathematics. I can assure you, mine are still greater. So these quotes by two great uh, persons, uh, should encourage us to not run away from uh, mathematics. And Einstein once said, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. So this is the motivation for this particular workshop that is entitled Mohar Circle Simplified. We are all familiar with the stress strain diagram. Uh, this diagram is uh, very fundamental to the understanding of uh, several phenomena uh, that uh, take place uh, in materials as well as on earth in general. We know from school days about uh, the Young's modulus and uh, elastic and plastic deformation. So we know that on a stress strain uh, diagram, you initially have a linear relation between stress and strain, and this defines the elastic deformation, and then this is followed by strain hardening part of the plastic deformation, and then that is followed by necking or strain softening, and finally, uh, you have rupture. Now, this particular behavior of the stress strain diagram for any material under a given set of conditions is 
very unique. So whenever there is a variation in deformation conditions, this is going to influence the stress strain diagram of a material. For example, if we increase the confining pressure, then the yield strength and the ductility both are going to increase as is shown in this particular graph or this particular diagram. And then if we increase the temperature, then the yield strength will decrease, but the ductility of the material increases. Likewise, if we decrease the, uh, the strain rate, then the yield strength decreases, but the ductility increases. And similarly, there will be an influence of fluid pressure where the if you increase the fluid pressure, then the ductility and strength of a material will decrease. So the amount of stress that a body can sustain before it ruptures defines its strength. And the amount of strain that a body can accommodate before it ruptures defines its ductility. And the ductility and strength of a material will keep varying with the conditions of deformation and hence the state of stress also varies uh, with deformation conditions. And the Mohar circle is a graph that helps visualize this state of stress. Now, how does this Mohar circle look like? Uh, if you look at any uh, textbook of structural geology, starting with the very old textbooks like uh, Ramsey 1967 or even older textbooks, uh, or if you look at relatively newer texts, Ramsey and Huber, Hakon Fossen, Twiss and Moores, Davies and Reynolds, Hobbes, Means and Williams, uh, all these textbooks, you know, they have a uh, good explanation of uh, Ghosh. You know, Ghosh is another very good textbook of structural geology. Uh, so all these textbooks have a very good um, explanation of uh, the Mohar circle. So any uh, student or any scientist can go through these texts to get information. But let us visualize in a way which, uh, uh, is, which will have an impression in our minds, uh, particularly for uh, very young students who have an aversion for mathematics. So I am sure uh, most of uh, us and most of you who are listening to me have seen uh, this particular uh, emblem or this particular sketch. Uh, this is the famous uh, 007 James Bond. So if you remember this uh, in your mind, you will never forget the Mohar circle because you can visualize that in the X direction you have normal stress and in the Y direction you have the shear stress. So these are the two axes of the Mohar circle and the 007, uh, the 007 part in the circle. So this circle is actually uh, representing somewhat like a Mohar circle. So you have a failure criterion which will be given by some mathematical equation and this is uh, tangential to the circle in the present case, uh, which is uh, marked by James Bond 007. And the place where this, or the point where this uh, uh, envelope uh, will touch the circle, this is going to be the point of failure. So simply visualized, you have an x-axis, normal stress, you have a y-axis, which is the shear stress, and you have a failure criterion, which is represented by some mathematical equation about which we will deal with in the next part of this lecture. And then you have a circle, 
which we call the Mohar circle. And then this gray space that you see, which lies within this envelope. Now, this is the region uh, which is actually the safe zone. So, if we have a Mohar circle uh, or we have certain conditions of deformation that lead to a Mohar circle which lies within this gray area, will it rupture? The answer is no. It will not rupture because the Mohar circle is in the safe zone. So, there is not going to be any rupture in the safe zone. The moment you change the conditions of deformation, that means you change the fluid pressure, confining pressure or strain rate or temperature, then in that case, if the conditions are favorable to increase the dimension of the Mohar circle of a particular material to a size that it now touches the Mohar this uh, the, we call this failure envelope as the Mohar failure failure envelope. So if it touches this envelope, then in that case there is going to be a rupture. And this understanding of uh, failure and the processes becomes very important in the discipline of structural geology because the change in fluid pressure, for example, leads to fracturing and vein emplacement. And then these veins may be filled up uh, uh, with these veins, for example, of quartz, they may contain gold. Uh, and then the understanding of structural geology becomes very important in mineral exploration. Phenomena such as landslide and earthquakes, they can take place because of the change in the state of stress, which results in the change in what is happening with the Mohar circle and the material strength. Similarly, in the case of oil exploration, if you change the state of stress, then there might be a blowout. So this all tells us that Mohar circle and the understanding of the Mohar circle is extremely important uh, for uh, appreciating the natural uh, deformation processes uh, that we encounter and experience uh, in our daily life as well as uh, generally you see uh, for structural geology understanding. So this is of fundamental importance. Therefore, this particular workshop Mohar Circle Simplified uh, was organized in the year 2016 in the month of October in the Department of Geology and Geophysics, Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur.